Well, the Steelers hold the edge 22 to 11 in the all time series, but Kansas City got the best of Pittsburgh in the last meeting between these two teams. The Chiefs are riding a seven game winning streak after starting the season off slow. It's time now for our keys to the game presented by your neighborhood Ford store. Let's welcome in Bob and coach once again. All right, Missy, thanks very much. It's a big game. Kansas City is on a roll seven in a row. First off, Coach, do you enjoy playing in Arrowhead? You've had some success there. Man, I absolutely love it. I, I love playing in the venues. Um, the venues that are tough places to play, uh, the venues that have a reputation that precedes them. Uh, if you're a competitor, you embrace that component of it. Uh, I got a lot of respect for the Chiefs and, and their fan base and, and the things that they've done to construct that environment. Uh, it's sweet when you go in there and have an opportunity to perform and, and play winning football, which is what we desire to do. Well, if that is to happen, what is the key offensively and how much of it is a faster start than we've seen? You know, start or no, uh, we got to score points. Uh, that's the reality of it. I think this group has lost three or four games and, and, and three out of four of those games that they've lost, the opponents have scored more than 30 points. And that's the reality of it. We got to score points. We got to score more than we've scored, particularly of late. Um, and, and, and also coupled with that, um, their defense has done a nice job in recent weeks, particularly holding uh, opponents down. Um, they've given up single digits and 10 points and things like that within the last month. And so for us, it's about finding ways to get the ball in the end zone and not settle for field goals, to score points, to understand that that's the road that's been paved in terms of how people have beaten them. And it's, and it's, you know, it's reasonable to expect that we're going to need to score more points than maybe 19 that we scored last week to get this victory. Ben Roethlisberger has this knack for, you know, bringing up the game and big game, big stakes, big primetime showings. I would imagine he's kind of pumped for this game against Patrick Mahomes. You know, Ben's pumped every week. Um, he's seen more games than he's going to see. I think he feels the urgency of that. Uh, but largely, you know, Ben has always been in big moments such as this in stadiums such as Arrowhead and, a, and against quality performance. Uh, opponents such as Kansas City, he'll be singularly focused on doing what's required to, to, to crack the, the, the nut that is the Kansas City defense. And, and Mahomes is just simply the, the quarterback on the other side. That won't dominate too much of his thought. You guys do well when you're in a two-minute offense. Any thought to starting a game like that or using it a little bit more often? Like I say every week when you ask that, it's something that's available to us and we'll make determination that's best for us, uh, particularly as we get into this in-stadium environment. Remember, like I almost say every week also, we got a bunch of young guys and, and when you're in no huddle and in hurry up, communication is strained, particularly in environments such as that. And you got to weigh the cost of being able to work at pace in an effort to minimize what the defense is capable of doing, coupled with the strained communication or lack thereof that a lot of our young players sorely need uh, when we're in that mode. 